Joseph, from prison to a palace. Genesis 41, 41. So Pharaoh said to Joseph, I hereby put you in charge of the whole land of Egypt. When the merchant caravan reached Egypt, Joseph was sold to an Egyptian named Potiphar, who worked for the king as captain of the guard. Being an honorable man, Joseph soon became Potiphar's most trusted servant. Joseph even lived in Potiphar's house and was put in charge of all he owned. Potiphar's wife became angry with Joseph because he would not disobey the law of the Lord. She said things about Joseph that were not true. Because of her lies, Potiphar had Joseph put in prison. Some time later, the king's baker and servant were also put into the same prison. Joseph took care of them. While they were there, each one had a dream which troubled them greatly. Joseph noticed their sad faces and asked, Why are you so sad? Last night, we both had the strangest dreams, and we don't know what they mean. God knows everything. With his help, perhaps I can explain the dreams to you. The king's servant spoke first. I saw a vine with three branches, which budded and blossomed into ripe grapes. The king's cup was in my hand, so I squeezed the grapes into the cup and put the cup into the king's hand. Then Joseph explained, The three branches are three days. In three days, the king will call for you, and you will once again be his chief servant. When this happens, please mention me to the king and get me out of this prison, for I have done nothing wrong. The chief baker spoke up. In my dream, on my head were three wicker baskets. The top basket was full of bread for the king, but the birds were pecking the bread to pieces. The three baskets are three days. In three days, the king will have your head cut off and hang you on a tree, and the birds will eat your flesh. Everything happened the way Joseph said it would. The servant was freed, but the baker was killed. Two years passed, and the king had a troubling dream. He called the wisest men of Egypt to explain it, but they could not. Then the king's servant remembered Joseph, and how Joseph had explained his dream while he was in prison. He spoke to the king. There was a Hebrew slave named Joseph I met in prison who once explained the meaning of my dreams to me. All that he said came to pass. Perhaps he will know the meaning of your dream. The king sent for Joseph and said to him, I am told that you can explain the meaning of my dreams. Is this true? Joseph answered, I cannot, but my God can. He will give you the meaning of your dreams. The king told Joseph of his dream. I was standing by the Nile River when I saw seven fat cows come out of the water. Then seven skinny cows came out of the water. Then the skinny cows ate up the fat cows. But no one could tell they had eaten then I woke up. Later, I had a second dream where I saw seven ripe and healthy heads of grain growing on a single stalk. There sprang up seven more heads of grain, but these were withered and thin. Then, the seven thin heads of grain swallowed up the seven healthy heads. Is your God able to tell me the meaning of these dreams? Joseph answered, God has indeed made known to you what he is about to do. The dreams are one and the same. The seven fat cows and the seven healthy heads of grain are seven years. 
the seven skinny cows and the seven withered heads of grain are also seven years. God has twice shown you that there will be seven years of plentiful food followed by seven years of famine and starvation. You should put a wise man in charge of saving up a part of the harvest in the good years to be eaten in the bad years. The king thought Joseph's idea was very good, so he made Joseph second in command over Egypt to carry out the task of storing food for the coming famine.